Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Shoga, Top Shine Detailing. Check us out on all of our platforms. Let's get right with it. Joe Wessels is a Democrat, 49 years old from Loveland, who is going to challenge Winstra. They're all jumping in. Speaking of jumping in, another person who's jumping in is Senator Shane Wilkin, state Republican senator. He also wants to challenge Winstrup. He's one of at least eight candidates who have said they're going to run. All right, there was a Covington shooting overnight down on Bakewell Street. One injured. Never ends. The governor's race in Kentucky, total bill, $70 million. Speaking of the governor, he has proposed, last night he went on his live 8, 8 uh, p.m. KET discourse, and he laid out his budget. Last year, the legislature proposed the budget before he did. He beat him to the punch this year. And his budget basically focuses on education, teacher pay raise, and everything else. All right, our top story is Drew Sample. Now, I got a different take on this. First, Drew Sample is a good guy. Drew Sample raising toys, toy drive for Children's Hospital is noble. His heart's in the right place. Kids are in the right place, but I got a big butt. Cincinnati Children's Hospital makes boo monies a year. They could buy these kids 10 presents each. Great presents. You should not donate your time, money, and energy to Children's Hospital. Why? Because Cincinnati Children's Hospital has all the money in the world. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. All right, male theft sentencing. These three guys right here just got nailed. These are the guys that were stealing the mail. All right, SD1 tragedy. This is sad. They released the uh, 911 tape. The guy calling frantically. Apparently a valve busted. Water shoots in, high pressure, and they were trapped. I mean, it's just agonizing. Question is, what happened? Why did it happen? Lawsuits galore after this one. All right. Thomas Massey went out to Iowa with Ron DeSantis and got ripped apart based upon his votes relating to Israel. Lieutenant Governor Coleman, God lover, had a double mastectomy, found out that she was predisposed and she had a surgery, expects full recovery. God bless her. Miss McConnell, lowest ranked Senator in the world, 6% nationally, according to a Monmouth poll. Amanda Bledsoe, Senator from Lexington, emergency surgery, got kicked in the face by a horse. Folks, that hurts. OAI Global in Burlington is closing their Burlington place down. 89 employees are going to lose their jobs. Austin Ganey. Got fined $338,602 and 22 months in jail by Daniel Reed, they, uh, Judge Reeves. Why? This guy was extorting a guy that he had had gay sex with on, online. 46% of refugees that go up to Northwest Ohio are from the Congo. <laughs> Weird. Louisville GOP wants to propose an anti-crime bill. We'll see where it goes. St. Martin of Tours, 100-year school in Cheviot, is set to close. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.